We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. Shohei Otani is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. What's your take on him, Dan? Yeah, Matt, his last one wasn't a particularly good one. Only pitched two innings, and they're going to need more than two innings from this guy in this one. So hopefully, in between that start and this one today, he ironed out what went wrong between that one and the one he's about to pitch into today. Off now batting, Miguel Andujar. He'll get us started in this one Miguel under the lights. And Duhar. First offering on its way. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. Well, they've come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Yeah, Matty B. We've got a team here that's been playing some pretty good baseball. They're not quite in first place yet, d -Row, but they're playing good, and they'd like to stay competitive through the month of May. Yeah, they've played okay. Let's be honest. They've hit okay. They've pitched okay. They're capable of much better than this, but it's early. We find ourselves just in the early phases of May. Ride it out and find a way to get hot. Two balls and a strike to count. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here it comes. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Here it comes. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. That second. Here's big Aaron Judge. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch of the at bat on its way. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matty, Clyde's my type of umpire. I didn't mind the low strike zone, and that's exactly what he has. If you're not going to give him above the belt, I'm okay with it. You know, one of the things I guess with Clyde is he is a real good low strike umpire. Pitchers seem to like him more than hitters, but one thing I will say, he has a very consistent zone. It's a low zone, but a consistent zone. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. The one two. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two-two pitch is fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to that set the third. middle of the order up the with an opportunity to do Labor. some damage. So when you Four. strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole, Von 
monster. As soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, One ball no strikes the count. Torres leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Is a swing and a high pop up. Pujols has a play, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Yankees. It's the Yankees nothing. Angels coming to bat on MLB The Show. Masahiro Tanaka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy keeps his team in the ballgame. He's won two of his last three starts, so he's been throwing the ball really well. And one of the keys for this guy is getting early outs to keep his pitch count down. If he can do that, he should be able to get into the seventh or eighth inning in this one here today. And Standing up, in, Andrelton angle. Simmons. Not It'll leave things off here in the bottom Andrelton. half of the first. Yeah, here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Batting second, the second baseman, David Fletcher. Ready now for L.A., David Fletcher, as we take a look at the splits between April and May. First pitch on its way. Oh. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine oh, no. games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings and this team this team's sitting pretty right now and there's a base hit on the line hey the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job but the number two Batting hitter first. came through right there the with the single baseman. setting the Anthony. table for the big boys Red Dog. In now is Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. The 1 0 pitch. Well. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Three of those pitches were that definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. Five. You're not usually going to get many wow. favorable calls on 3-0, and oh, though. You have to earn that spot. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's a 333 hitter, 5 for 15. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Here's the first pitch to him. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Well, he's in a bit of hot water in this first inning, but if he can start throwing his slider effectively like that, he has a lot better chance of settling into this game.
drives it out to deep right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Tommy. Here's Tommy Lostella now. Three hits for him in that ball game on Wednesday. Tanaka pauses. First pitch on the way. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Two men are on with two men out. Popped him up. Urshela is there for it. And that ends the inning. Angels turned away in the first. We played an inning in Anaheim with no score. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. LeMayhew. First delivery to him on the way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Fletcher calls for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Standing in, Gio Urshela, and he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. First pitch of the at bat. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. Yeah, he made up his mind early to take the first pitch because that thing was right down the middle. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Swinging a blooper to the right side. Coming in is Goodwin, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting that's streak that's now up to eight games. Teams. Yeah, no doubt about it. Eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. On a line to shortstop. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Batting eight. The first baseman. Luke Boyd. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. He's set and the pitch. In there, 0 and 1. On the stretch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. I know this guy has a lot of weapons on the mound, but what makes him so successful is that he's aggressive in the zone, getting ahead, forcing action. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a fastball ah! runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, the good news is this guy can really not. dial it up and the let it fly. The oh, bad news is sometimes he overthrows it and has absolutely no idea where it's going. He's in a little bit of a trouble, so we'll see if he can work his way out of this. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Kyle Higashioka. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. And a ball, 1-0. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there, one and one. One and one, here it is. Hit to third. Rendon has it, and he'll go the short way to retire the side. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the bottom of the second. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. And now for the Angels, Justin and Upton. Go. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's Don't actually like better against right-handed pitching this season. Up there. First pitch on its way to Upton. Up. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and a swing there from Upton as this is on the ground to short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Batting seven, the right fielder, Brian. Goodwin. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Back on Wednesday, it was a one-for-five performance for him. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Hard liner to center field. Tuckman is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. Tanaka sets his sights. 0-1 pitch on its way. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Sent out to straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Angels are gone in order. We'll move to the third with no score. to the top of the order now and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel and Duhar. Miguel and Duhar. First pitch coming here it is. Swung on and chopped up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with that, let's take a moment to show you what's happening in the American League's Western Division. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. First offering on its way. Line 
drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely now coming bat. out of his shoes. Football. Aggressive style. First Rayburn. pitch. Base hit up the middle. Four. Standing in now, Torres. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. One for one after a single his first time up. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Third inning, no score to this point. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. I wouldn't be surprised to see the runner moving here on that 3-2 pitch. With only one out, but this guy at the plate swings the bat really well. So it's likely he'll put the ball in play if it's a pitch worth swinging at. Drilled to the right side. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two now aboard now. Left field. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that yeah. hole between first and second base, D-Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Giancarlo Stanton is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high 1 and 0. Oh. In there and it's even at 1. One. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready to deliver the one and two. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Is laid off and the count runs full. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. As a look, now the pitch. A shot down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. One run scores. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. Now batter. Hey, this one's a long way from being over Nero, but that big base hit right there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on.
One and zero pitch on the way. Runners are at first and third, one away. And that misses two and one. Well, this is starting to feel like a make or break moment in this game. When you're playing a first place team, you can't expect to fall way behind early in the game and then mount a comeback. And it's two balls and two strikes now. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. When this thing left as bad, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. So now to the plate, Mike Topman. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. The 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Rip down the line. But a foul ball. One and two now. Three runs already home here. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. fouled away fastball in the dirt and that's going to get away what a bad time for a wild pitch as the run will score from third I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And the tag gets him. But a run is in to score away from the play. Up that grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the, the runner at third will have to hold on a ball Four. like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. <laughs> Digging in for his second at-bat, Luke Voigt. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Two out, nobody on. Bullet back up the middle. Trout is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Yankees lead it five to nothing. 
Welcome back. The Angels are set to hit here in the third inning, and hit is something that they've done very well this season. Within the league, they rank among the leaders in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. When asked about their offense, the players I talked with all brought up how multifaceted their talent is, saying they've got guys that can spray the ball around, guys that work counts and draw walks, and of course, plenty of guys that can go deep and drive in runs. Their numbers certainly confirm that, guys. And leading Thank you, Heidi. the Angels, the first baseman. Digging in, Albert Pujols. He'll be the one to lead Ooh, off against oh. Masahiro Tanaka. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first in time, one away. And no with that, we'll two. give you a quick look Good at our stop. current standings and in the AL back. East. Yeah, So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Weekly hit to third. Reined in. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth the noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see, he's right up there, fourth in the AL in that category. Now with the plate, David Fletcher, a base hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Loved by LeMahieu. Throw on to Voigt, takes care of him, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He cited their low chase rate or percentage of swings that are on pitches outside of the strike zone as one reason for their success so far in this game. That number is under 20% right now. So up and down the lineup, they're doing a great job You're of picking on pitches they're more likely to do damage with. Angel. Okay, number thank you, Heidi. Jaime Maria answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Stepping in, Kyle Higashioka. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. Ball, and he right takes down. ball 2, and it's 2 and 1. Berea was born in Panama. He's in his third season as a major league player. A 2 1 home. That's ball three. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got to count in his favor three and one. The three and one pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands a number four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So it's back to the top of the order now. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. 
First offering on its way. The 0-1 on its way. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece so of like cheese he, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Aaron Judd. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. A hit in two tries so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball of no strikes. The 1 0. Five runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. And when you're already down five, the last thing you want to do is fall behind in the count when you're on the mound. That's not going to do anything to help you get back into this thing. Now the 2-1. Taken, Bye. strike two. Two, two. Still two and two. First and second here with nobody out. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw into second. And there's one away. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with now one bad. away. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Labor. Looked to be a base hit Four. to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. So one out here with runners at first and third, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. As a look, now the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hit down the line at first. And Pujols won't get there. This is a fair ball. And to score is the runner from third. It's a 6 0 ball game. Throw to third, but he's in there. As also now on the play, a run Lexi. comes across to score. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1 0 home. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole.
This is foul right side. The one two is a slider taken for a ball. Tough to take a pitch like that right there especially in a one two count you almost get in that auto swing mode great job to work the count back to even. He's set and the two two pitch popped him up. Pujols over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Now batter second baseman DJ. LeMahieu. Digging in and looking for more. DJ LeMahieu and their runners at the corners now. Here's the first pitch to him. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Six runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive pitches, Matt. Throw something down in the zone or just out of the zone. But something way out of the zone doesn't serve any purpose. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Yankees forced to settle for one. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Yankees six and the Angels nothing. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. He starts the and inning and Dan they're down Angel. six in the early going. So the what do they need to do to claw back Anthony. into this thing. Well, first of all, man, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hey, with this big a lead, you have to just pound the zone and force this team to get aggressive in the box. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this is swung on and missed, and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes, one away. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he Number came back with a fastball on two and two. Mark. He was ahead in the count 0 oh and 2 earlier, wow. but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to first, two gone. The designated hitter, number nine, Tommy LaStella. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Now it's 2 and 0. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. 
Angels are gone in order. They still find themselves down six zip. New inning set to get underway. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Gio Urshela. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Urshela. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, one. The 1 0 home. Hit in the air out to left field. Upton's under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now that there's a look at the, the final line for the Angels Mike. starter. Certainly Talk. not the night he wanted to have. Well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road. Ready for another chance? Mike Talkman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Upton's after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next for the Yankees, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. Striding into the box, Luke Voigt. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes ball one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. This is on the ground over to first. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings. And he said they just aren't putting enough competitive at-bats together right now. He thinks they need to slow the game down a little bit when they get into the box. Top to bottom, they're hitting into way too many outs early in the count and not letting the at-bats develop. He's all for picking on a good pitch to hit when it comes, but they need to make sure they're doing more damage on the swings that they're taking. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Here's Justin Upton angel. now. He leads off in no the bottom of the fifth there. as they look to break Just through on the there. scoreboard for the first time in this one. Up yeah, there. baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. The pitch. Right through oh, it here, and he's behind 0-1. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right. So we'll try it again at one and two. And Upton can't connect there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go the about right his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's Ryan. one of my favorites, mostly because Good of his stuff. Win. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box, Brian Goodwin. No balls in one strike. Low of the oh. fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. And oh, 
fires a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Popped up. Urshela shading to his right. And he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for the That's end. exactly what they the wanted catcher. out of that pitch up Jake in the Day. zone. They took him up Catch the ladder throw. and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jason Castro. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here's the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Angels go down 1, 2, 3. They won't make a dent in a 6 to nothing deficit. Now to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. Kyle Higashioka. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike. Oh, and one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1 home. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now back in Miguel Andujar last time through Miguel. was a base hit and Duhar. here comes the first pitch now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone and the fastball hitting 93 on the gun it's one and one. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Boy, it's so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half the of the right plate right there. Try to bust him in, D Row, and he Aaron. fights it off the other way. Yeah, Good. you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Well, that's now what's bad. so disappointing as a pitcher, D. Rowe. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. At the plate, Torres, as he'll take a look at ball one. Trying to keep it going, a perfect three for three thus far. And 2-0 and oh now as this misses below the knees. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here.
Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at two and one. From the stretch. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Another one sent foul. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. That was a good job there of using the now batter's that aggressiveness against him. He was John putting Carlo. up a good fight and fouling a lot of yeah. balls off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. At the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And the route is officially underway. It is seven to nothing. Boy, talking now about picking your teammate seven, up eight. after that strikeout, D Row. Big, big, and I mean big, two out RBI single. Yeah, way to come through for your team. When you take the donut off your bat right there, you're trying to pick up your teammate. He had the right game plan, didn't come outside it, stayed through the baseball, and was able to come through. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Fletcher is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Yankees forced to settle for one. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Yankees seven and the Angels nothing. Here's Albert now. He'll start things out in their half of the and sixth as they look the to Angels. shake things up here for the a lineup baseman. that, quite frankly, has Albert. been non existent to date. No doubt about oh. that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First delivery to him on the way. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. Two balls, one strike. Now the 2-1. Fly ball to straightaway left. Stanton is underneath this one, and he puts it away for the first down. Now batting, the shortstop, Andrew Ted. Simmons. One away, and here's the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. Here it comes. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. Oh. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two. Swing and a liner. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Yeah, man, he's no locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get Gingy. back in that groove with the next batter, Watcher. he's not going to worry too much about it. 
So stepping in, David Fletcher. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. First pitch on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Here's the 0 1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Stanton has a read on it. Two down. Now batting, third baseman, Anthony Red Go. Two men are out now in the Angels' sixth, and the next hitter will be the right handed bat of Anthony Rendon. As a look, now the pitch. No, that's low. The 1 0 home. Keeping it down one here is it's to one and two. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Angels leave one. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Matt Andrees enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 35, Matt Andrees. Stepping into the box, Gio Urshela. It was a fly-out for him in his last trip. Gio Urshela. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball oh. one. One ball, no strike. The 1 0 home. Yeah. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Two one strike. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. The 2-2. Two -two. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Now batting. The center fielder, Mike Talkman. Settling in now, Mike Talkman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Right. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fruit. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. The one and two pitch. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last pitch. Now Pretty evident by the swing. The first Sometimes thing. guys get in that protect mode so much Boy. that they're swinging at everything that they see, and they end up offering at pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. To the plate now, Luke Voigt. 
As with two away, no he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Strike two on the curveball. 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're still in control, seven to nothing. In now, Mike Trout. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch of the at bat. Oh. One and oh. Oh. Pitching isn't always about getting everyone out. Sometimes it's about being smart and knowing when to pick your battles. He's been really careful with this hitter so far, and rightfully so. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Swing and a miss strike two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there. And it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. In now, Tommy LaStella. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Hey, this guy's nasty on the mound, and to check swing and not chase that one, puts himself right back in the count. In there, one and two now. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Torres has it, and there's out number two. The left fielder, number eight, Justin Upton. Justin Upton the next to hit. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Line toward right center. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. And they keep the inning alive right with a base here, hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. Ryan. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there.
Standing in now, Brian Goodwin. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. One ball, one strike. Two out with the man at first. A ball and two strikes. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Okay. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Tanaka pauses. Here it comes. This is in the air out to right. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that'll freeze the runner at third with two gone. Man, an unlucky break right there with the runner stealing from first. If that ball doesn't bounce over the wall for a ground rule double, he's probably going to score easily. But instead, he's forced to stay at third. Now it's going to be up to the next guy to drive him home. Into the box, Jason Castro. Owen won the count. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Now the two one. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. ball Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3-1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. The first baseman, number five, Al Burke. Ready for another Pujols. shot now. Albert Pujols. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled away. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. The 2 2. Ball three. Three For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And this now inning is a perfect Good example stop. of how quickly Central fortunes third. can change in this game. Timber. He was cruising along, hardly any trouble at all. Now he walks in a run and is still in the middle of a bases loaded mess. He's got some work to do to limit the damage. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, Andrelton Simmons.
Here comes the first pitch. Ball, ball. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Looking to minimize the damage here. Way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. Two out, bases loaded. Hit out towards second. But Mayhew towards second. He's got it. Quick throw to Torres to retire the side. One in the inning here for the Angels on a couple of hits. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Yankees seven and the Angels one. Ready to begin the eighth. Leading Stepping up to the plate, Kyle Higashioka. He went down Kyle. on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The 1-0. Skied into very shallow right. Waiting on it is Goodwin. One out. Now batting. Designated hitter. Miguel. And Duhar. Striding forward now is the DH. Miguel Andujar. Two hits in four attempts to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Maybe oh. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout the there. Fielder, yeah, Matt, 99. that's the advantage of getting ahead Aaron. in the count. You can really force Good. hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. As he'll take a change up here for strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. The wind up and the 0 1. And a check swing here, but he pretty clearly broke the plane and it's 0 and 2 now. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Here's the one and two delivery. That's well off two. the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Two out, nobody on. Fastball misses That's in the ball. dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Now the payoff pitch home. High in the air out to center field. Trout will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They're on top 7 to 1. Digging in, David Fletcher. He leads off their half and of the eighth, and Fort they've been Angel. unable to get that starter out the of the game thing, to this man. point. Yeah, David. he settled in early on the mound, Fletcher. partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Hey, it's always key getting early strikes in account. This guy's been awesome at it so far. More than 70% of his first pitches have been in the strike zone. Count now a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. 
That's ball two. I got two one the count. Ball three. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two hole hitter off the bags is always important. The 3-1. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. As we look at the numbers, we now can see that he's north of 90 pitches right now. So it's not surprising to see him maybe losing a little bit of command. We'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. So digging in now, Anthony Rendon. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Nobody out, runner on first. Fastball just off the inside corner. Time to be alert for signs of tiring here in the eighth. He's a pitch away from 100. Man, I love this right now. He's given it everything he has, given this team depth, allowing the manager to pick some serious matchups when it comes to going to the bullpen, Dan. Well, you nailed that, d -Rogue. Now you can go to your go-to guys, the troubleshooters, the guy you want to bring into close games. Anytime a starter can get you through seven innings, the That's eighth inning, it's a bonus. A job well done so far. My. Nice job on the mound to bounce back wow. from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So base is empty now after the double play. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Mike Trout. Here's the first pitch to him. Huh. Laid off, but a cold Double. strike as that caught the outside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Tanaka gets the sign. Here it is on 0-2. On 0-2, oh you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Stanton at the track, the wall. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo home run here for Mike Trout, the 297th of his career, and it's a 7-2 game now. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll leave after a strong seven and two-thirds here as he'll hope the bullpen can get the final Your four outs to please. secure his victory. Now Tommy Kingley enters here looking to get the final out Number before 40. the ninth inning. Tommy Kingley.
the designated hitter, number nine. Stepping Tommy. in now, Tommy LaStella. There's a look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. One and one to Tommy LaStella. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The one two is a fastball that misses. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Three and two. The count is full to the Angels DH. Well, the one two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Two out, nobody on. Good battle. Count remains full. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he the faces. Left fielder, well, eight. when you go with the slider there in a Not full count, there. you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Coming to the plate now, Justin Upton. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch on its way to Upton. Keenly has become one of the more dominant bullpen arms in the sport today, and a big reason is his swing and miss stuff really helps him pitch out of tough situations. Yeah, Matty B, and I think what we're seeing more and more out of the game of baseball right now in the eighth and ninth inning, big power arm guys that have really two good pitches that they can strike you out with, and that's what this guy is here. If he doesn't have one, he has the other, and if he has them both, he's nearly impossible to make contact off of. Oh, and two, here it is. Off the plate at 94, one and two. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. A runner on first with two away. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Still one and two. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Angels do get one, however, on the Mike Trout home run. Ninth inning straight ahead. It's the Yankees seven, and the Angels two. Nora Ramirez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ramirez. Next for New York, Torres. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Leading off for the Yankees, the shortstop, Labor Torres. First pitch on its way. And that misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Comes in with the changeup and it's two and zero. Oh. Oh. 
all over the place to start the ninth. It's 3 and 0 oh now. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Here it comes, the 3 0. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Well, that is definitely now not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. No balls and a strike to count. A runner at first with no outs here. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0 2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. The 1 2 is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches Up, and location, okay. but he threw the that all out the window to get that strikeout. Mm -hmm. He offered the well, same man. pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. He swings and sends a bullet to right field, but he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Now batting, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. So coming to the plate, Gio Urshela. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Here comes the first pitch. The 1 0 is taken for ball two. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3 and 0. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 count. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. The 3 1. Hard hit toward the hole. Fielded by Rendon. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. They're on top seven to two. Ladies ben Heller, a right handed reliever please. standing 6 now, 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 61. Ben. Heller. Leading off the inning, Brian Goodwin. And, and they'll Fourteen need him to get Angels. something going here. The right fielder, Brian Goodwin. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Oh and one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Right into the shift, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Up next for the Angels, 
Ready once again, Jason Castro. Go for two with a walk for Castro. him so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Into the corner and slicing foul. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Swing and a liner. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. So he waited till the ninth the inning, but he comes Number through five. here to extend the hit streak. Albert. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there? He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Uh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Here's a high pop-up. And there's the second out as he squeezes it while standing on the mound. The batter, number two, shortstop, Andrew Thurr, Simmons. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the stretch, first pitch fastball in there for a called strike. behind 0 and 2 now you're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball angels down to their last strike and he holds up on this one but it's a cold strike three and with that the ball game is over yeah that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road take it right to the home squad and get a win now the pressure is off if they get one of the next two the series is theirs and this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish. The Yankees led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Masahiro Tanaka earns his eighth victory of the season. Shohei Otani worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.